I'm coming to you from none other than my Woodhouse Spa in St. Petersburg, Florida. Today, we're talking about the best franchises to invest in for 2025. Does Woodhouse make the list? Stay tuned because what I'm about to share could change your investment strategy forever. Over the past few years, I've personally invested over $3 million in different franchises. Each one has made me realize just how powerful investing in a franchise can be for wealth building. So in this video, I'll break down the five hottest markets for franchise opportunities right now. And I'll tell you the top franchises to invest in within each market. Plus, I'll give you an exclusive look at the three franchises I've invested in and how you can invest in each of them in 2025. Let's get started. The first one, food franchise. When I say food franchise, your mind probably goes straight to McDonald's or Subway's. McDonald's is a great option, but is extremely tough to franchise. Subway's, on the other hand, is much easier to franchise. However, that ease means you're facing a lot of competition. Because of these two factors, I decided to look elsewhere when I chose to invest in a food franchise. And that decision led me to what I believe is the king of food franchise, Jersey Mike's. It takes everything I have not to eat a Jersey Mike sandwich every day. The reason why I love food franchises so much is because they're among the most recession proof business model around. For example, during the 2008 financial crisis, the S&P dropped by almost 50% in just six months. But during the same time frame, McDonald's actually saw a 7% increase in revenue. This growth is because food is an essential item, which is something that people will always buy no matter the state of the economy. But as I mentioned, when people think of food franchises, they tend to focus on the big names like McDonald's and Subways. But there are two factors that make Jersey Mike's the better option when looking to buy into a food franchise. First, is the upfront cost. To franchise a McDonald's, you need at least $500,000 in liquid assets. And the total investment ranges from $1.47 million to $2.64 million, depending on the store's location and its size. In comparison, Jersey Mike only requires $300,000 in net worth and $100,000 in liquid assets, with a total investment of $210,000 to $1.4 million. Secondly, Jersey Mike's is one of the fastest growing food franchises in the world. According to a 2023 McDonald's press release, their sales are currently growing by around 2% annually, which isn't bad. But Jersey Mike's is seeing a 24.8% increase in a year over year sales increase. So not only does Jersey Mike's cost significantly less to invest in than a McDonald's, but you're also more likely to see a return on your investment much sooner. Subways, on the other hand, is much cheaper to invest in, with the average upfront investment ranging between $229,000 and $522,000. However, this lower cost means you're dealing with much more competition. As a result, the average Subway generates only $500,000 in sales, while the average Jersey Mike's brings in $1.3 million. Now, alongside being cheaper to invest in than a McDonald's and more financially lucrative than a Subway's, there's actually a third reason why I love the Jersey Mike's franchise. It prioritizes giving back to the community, which is very important to me. Every March 27th, around my birthday, they hold a day of giving where they donate 100% of their sales. That is sales, not profits to charity. Since 2011, Jersey Mike's has raised over $113 million. Now for the fun part, how to invest in a Jersey Mike's. First, you'll need to submit an inquiry on their website. Next, you'll move on to the application stage where you'll provide information on your net worth and your assets. If approved, you'll meet the corporate team on their discovery day. If both parties are satisfied, you'll receive a formal approval, sign the document and pay the initial franchising fee. From there, you'll move into site selection, training programs, store construction, setup, and finally, your grand opening day. During my time running at Jersey Mike's, I faced plenty of challenges, but each one has what significant rewards that have fundamentally changed my life for the better. However, as incredible as Jersey Mike's is, there are four other franchises worth considering if you're looking to make it big, two of which I've personally invested in as well. Now, throughout this video, you'll hear me speak a lot about the importance of investing in franchises with a long-standing history and established systems. However, that doesn't mean you can't invest in companies that don't have a history. New industries and franchises that come with them can actually offer some of the largest returns on investments in the game. The key is picking the right one. And based on my research, 
and experience. That pick should be the Maytag franchise from the laundromat sector. Let me give it to you straight. Maytag is an American laundromat franchise that costs a minimal of $75,000 to set up. But get this, each Maytag location on average generate a 20 to 35% return on investment year after year meaning most franchises break even within two to three years. After the three year mark, you're looking at clean profits every year. What I love about the laundromat sector is that it operates on a self-service model. So you won't have to spend excessive time managing everything. They have extremely low overhead and they're currently on the rise as many apartments are becoming smaller and can't accommodate a washing machine and dryer. Plus, you have zero perishable inventory, which can be a real hassle when dealing with a food franchise. And because of the low startup cost, there's a huge potential for scaling. So if you have some cash in your bank account and want something that will give you a quick return on your investment, then I'd suggest looking into Maytag as that's where I'll be putting my focus next year. But if you have a little extra cash in your pocket and want something with less risk, then the next one might be just for you. The third type of franchise, auto franchises. The next franchise industry you need to know about and the second one I invested in is the auto industry. While auto services may not be as essential as food, they are still crucial for the vast majority of Americans who rely on their vehicles to get them to and from work every day of the year. This need alongside the various wants that comes with owning cars is why the auto service industry is recession proof and worth over $750 billion. However, Investing in an auto franchise isn't as straightforward as investing in a food franchise. That's why before making my investment, I focused on two key factors. First, I wanted to find a franchise with a diverse range of services to mitigate any risk that I might take on. Second, I aim to invest in a franchise with a long-standing history, one that had time-tested systems in place that I could build upon rather than create from scratch. Based on these criteria, the best auto service franchise I discovered was Mako. First, Mako offers a wide variety of services, including auto body work, collision repair, and cosmetic enhancements. Second, the franchise has been around since 1972, which has allowed it to build extremely strong relationships with insurance companies. These two factors mean I could diversify my risk across multiple services while ensuring a franchise with solid foundation to build upon, ultimately saving me time, energy, and a significant amount of money. Now, let's get into the numbers. The average Mako store generates about $1.28 million in gross annual sales. The initial investment ranged from approximately $276,000 to a million dollars, depending on the store size and location. To qualify, you need at least $300,000 in net worth and $140,000 in liquid assets, plus the $40,000 franchise fee. While this investment is slightly more expensive compared to some of its competitors, it becomes worthwhile when you consider Mako's high profit margins. Most of its competitors are operating at a 60% to 70% growth profit margin, while Mako has a growth profit margin of about 77.6%. Additionally, Mako is owned by the parent company Driven Brands, which operates other auto service brands like Meineke, Car Care Centers, and Take 5 Oil Change. This affiliation provides franchisees access to valuable data from various service providers and companies within the same industry, giving you a competitive edge that many of Mako's competitors lack. Similar to Jersey Mike's, Mako offers a great corporate structure that equips you with everything you need to get started. Once you apply and are approved, you'll gain access to a comprehensive three-week training course run by their corporate team. During this training, you'll meet marketing directors, IT managers and gain access to their proprietary Fleet Sleek software, which enables you to sell services to fleet owners. Alongside that, you'll also receive additional resources to help you hit the ground running, like three plus week of on the job training for you and your team, six to 12 months of center development oversight, and access to various conventions and meetings with other people who have bought into the franchise. So, because of the essential need for auto services, the diverse range of offerings that Mako provides, and its long-standing success and relationships with insurance providers, Mako stands out as one of the best franchises to invest in for 2025. But if auto services aren't your preference, don't worry. There are still two more franchises I want to introduce you to. The fourth, technology franchises. Next, we have one of the lesser known franchise models, technology franchises. Technology franchises are great for two main reasons. First, they provide consistent revenue streams through subscription models and a loyal customer base. Second, 
they are extremely easy to scale. When it comes to these factors, there is no better franchise to invest in than an automated car wash franchise like Fleet Clean USA. Fleet Clean is a mobile truck and fleet washing service provider in the United States that specializes in cleaning commercial vehicle on site. The company has been franchising since 2013, which means they have an established system that will make your life easier when you franchise. Compared to the other competitors, their initial investment is also really affordable, ranging from $160,000 to $436,000, depending on the size and location. What's even better is that car wash industry is currently valued at $410 billion and is expected to grow as more people become interested in the cleanliness of their cars. With Fleet Clean, customers can book exactly what they need at the time they need it, and then an employee of yours will arrive with their trucks to provide the cleaning service. Everything is managed through their proprietary application. This systemization and automation mean less time and energy and investment for you as a franchise owner, an advantage that becomes even more valuable as you expand to own multiple franchises. But maybe you're the type of person who likes to be more hands-on with your franchises. In that case, the last option, which is my absolute favorite, might just be for you. Franchise five is the health franchise. Finally, we arrive at the fifth franchise industry, which also represents the third franchise I have personally invested in, the health and wellness sector. Until recently, this market was largely dominated by women seeking self-care. However, in recent years, men have also taken an interest in personal wellness, which has contributed to the sector's explosive growth into a $1.8 trillion market worldwide and a $480 million market in the USA as of 2024. In fact, health and wellness now accounts for approximately 5.6% of the global GDP, meaning that for every $20 spent, about $1 goes towards this market. This surge in growth is primarily driven by Gen Z, which means the industry will only continue to rise. However, I'm not the only one who has recognized the potential of this market, leading to a ton of competition. Because of this, it's crucial to invest in a franchise that has three key attributes, proven results, a diverse range of services, and a solid support structure. The franchise that meets these criteria is nonetheless the Woodhouse Spas. The Woodhouse Spas embody all of these qualities and more, making it a standout choice for savvy franchise investors. Today, I'm speaking to you from the Woodhouse Spa in St. Petersburg, Florida, one of my three locations. Here, we offer a blend of luxury expertise and unmatched support that defines the Woodhouse brand. This commitment continues to deliver exceptional experiences for every guest and set high standards for excellence within the health and wellness industry. First, Woodhouse Spa is owned by a parent company called Radiance Holdings. This is important because parent companies typically offer extensive support through proven business models and stronger brand recognition, leading to better deals in the competitive business landscape. But it's not just the parent company that makes the Woodhouse Spas appealing. They also have impressive numbers to back their success. On average, a Woodhouse Spa generates about $2.4 million in gross sales and continues to grow year over year. However, it is one of the more expensive franchises franchises to invest on in this list, with an upfront cost ranging from $1.5 to $2.4 million, depending on your location and size. They also require a net worth of at least $1 million and $700,000 in liquid assets, making this franchise not for the faint of hearts. With that said, Woodhouse Spas provide a bunch of ways to recruit this investment through their variety of services, including massages, facials, nail treatments, saunas, and salt rooms. Last but not least, Woodhouse Spas also offer great supports for their franchisees. To invest in a Woodhouse Spa, you'll first need to reach out to their team and schedule a call to get acquainted using the form on their website. If approved, you'll be invited to their headquarters in Colorado, where you can meet current franchisees and gain a deeper understanding of the role. If everything goes smoothly, you'll then be asked to sign a franchise agreement, after which you'll transition into their onboarding roadmap. During the first 30 days, you'll focus on building your website and social media platforms. For the next 30 days, you'll participate in photo shoots and local meetings to create a launch strategy and a marketing plan. Following that, you'll finalize your service menus and pricing in preparation for your grand opening. Throughout this entire process, you'll receive ongoing support, training, and education on client service and standards and marketing systems. What I loved about the Woodhouse Spas is their balanced approach to operational and marketing systems ensuring you're well equipped for success. That wraps up today's video on the top five franchises to own in 2025. Which one excites you the most? Let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.